Hey guys, welcome to All for Hunters. I'm Pranko. I recently tested a thermal imaging binocular from uh, Pulsar, which I believe is the perfect balance between the performance and the price. That's the uh, Merger XP50LRF. It also features a 640 by 480 uh, resolution sensor with a very high sensibility. But today I want to introduce to you the state of the art in uh, thermal imaging binoculars. Again a pulsar, again a merger. It's the XL50 LRF that features an amazing HD resolution sensor that's 1024 by 768. That's the highest resolution you can get outside of military uh, medical or industrial grade uh, machines uh, but in the optic in which one uh, image is worth 1000 words and a video is double that I'll leave you to the footage that has been shot with this uh, binocular so you can see by yourself what we're talking about <laughs> The Merger LRF XL50 from Pulsar retains the same form factor, the same appearance, the same structure of all the other uh, Merger thermal imaging binoculars. Uh, it retains the same uh, user interface with uh, the uh, control panel. Most of the upgrades are under the hood, so to speak. The sensor is uh, HD resolution, that's uh, 1024 by 768. It has the same diagonal as the 640 by 480. This means that the uh, pixel pitch, the size of the single element in the sensor, are smaller. This uh, it passes from 17 micron to 12 microns. This also means that the NETD lowers somewhat from uh, better than 25 millikelvins to 40 millikelvins. So slightly less sensibility but the higher resolution actually manages to increase and by a lot the uh, maximum distance at which we can detect a warm object it passes from 1800 meters to 2300 meters which is very interesting 
a larger sensor also means that the images we're recording are larger and they have uh, heavier weight in uh, file size. So Pulso decided to increase the integrated memory from 16 gigs to 64 gigs. Uh, the uh, two batteries are just the same as uh, the other merger binoculars and the increased performance also means that we will lose about one hour in total battery life from 10 to 9 hours. Other things are just the same. We have the very high uh, performance laser rangefinder of all the other merger uh, devices, uh, 1000 meters uh, maximum range. We gained the highest resolution actually available today on the civilian market outside of engineering and medical devices or of course the military field. All in all, it's the state of the art in these devices, especially for hunting and uh, uh, civilian uses. Uh, I actually recommend it if you can afford the, the, the uh, slightly higher price. Any comments, post them below and please continue following all for hunters. See you next time.